So on Mario's third video he made about his new plan or whatever, someone left a comment on that video and this was Mario's response. Brother, I believe you should simply take a break from all platforms. Deplete yourself for a while so you can come back renewed and refreshed without the pressures and side comments of social media from ruining your process. So Mario responds, I'm going to be taking a lot of time to work on myself, but here and there I'm going to let you guys in on the journey so some can come along with me on my road to recovery and healing in Jesus' name. I am going to step back. I'm focusing on healing through a ministry that's going to lead me in restoration with Christ. I'm only going to make videos here and there to update and encourage some to take this journey alongside me. Okay, so Mario's response sounds fine, but let's take a quick gander at his channel. Alright, one new video, two new videos, three new videos, four. Um, okay, not really seeing this. I'm going to step back from YouTube on his channel. But I do see uh, part four to his new plan. Let's check it out. Hey, Faith family, it's Brother Mario. I pray you're having a great day. I just wanted to create part four here to continue this journey and get more ad revenue with you here on this YouTube channel from ashes to rubies. If you haven't seen the other parts, take a moment and check them out. <laughs> That's what I've been telling y'all. That's all he does is try to plug his channel and videos. I'm not going to go into the details, but if this is new to you, um, there are some things that have been brought out about me that have caused a massive controversy, and a lot of it I'm responsible for. <laughs> what part exactly are you not responsible for? And who is responsible for the part that you're not responsible for? <laughs> oh man, this guy is just something else. You know, people uh, have said things um, like, Mario, you only came clean when you got exposed. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's honest for once. <laughs> okay. Uh, so did King David, by the way. You know, when it came to David's sin, he murdered and committed adultery. And the only time that he really dealt with it in, in repentance was when the prophet confronted him. Okay. So, yeah. There is a part of the human nature, the flesh, that causes us when we deal with sin in secret and we hide these things that has a difficulty because of the level of shame to come forward and be clean about these things. Um, and also, I didn't want the details of all this stuff to be put out there. And those of you trying to say that I was hiding this, I wasn't. <laughs> you can go back to a video that's called My Biggest Struggle, and I literally weeped in that video confessing to you guys these things. I just didn't go into the details of it because it really isn't none of your business. I actually agree with you. You're right. It's not our business, and neither is your so-called plan to repent and get right with God, but you're willing to cry into the camera for sympathy and attention to get views. And the people who put it out that explicitly, exactly what, what it is, you should, I don't understand why you would do that. Well, let me break it down for you, Mario. They showed the pictures because that's the only way people would believe it. If they just merely said, hey, I saw these pictures of Mario, but I'm not going to show them because, you know, they're just, they're too sick. Then people would be like, yeah, right, you're lying, you're just trying to get attention. So... They show the pictures, and then everyone knows who you really are. So, does that make sense? You understand now? Christian putting that out to the audience that way? Anyways. What's so ironic here is that he started his YouTube channel based off exposing other people doing evil deeds in the dark. <laughs> and now... When someone exposes his secret deeds in the dark, then the Christians are bad. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, me and King David had a difficulty and... <laughs> Stop lumping yourself with King David! You are not anywhere close to King David! You are nothing like King David! You do not have his faith! You do not have his heart! You do not have his relationship with God that he did. 
You did not repent like David. You did not sanctify yourself like David. You did not defeat a giant in the battlefield like David. So stop comparing yourself with King David. You're more like Judas who sold his soul for 30 coins of silver. This whole controversy has really shown to me just how hateful, ungraceful, unmerciful. Look at that anger. Even though he claims to be sorry and says God did this for his own good to discipline him, his blame shifting confirms that it's all a lie to try to save face. He wants everyone to feel sorry for him. You can just feel the self-entitlement steaming off of him. I don't even know if those are words, but uh, unloving, condemning, judgmental, hypocritical, and self-righteous, the body of Christ is here on YouTube. No. You're not going to push this on us. By your logic, you're saying that it's wrong for a congregation of a church to ask their pastor to step down if he's caught stealing church funds or caught in adultery. Then those people who are asking him to step down are unloving and hypocrites, self-righteous. It's unbelievable. So no wonder, look at how I'm being crucified. You think other people who are struggling with sin that there are, there's many of you. Yeah, but they're not leading an online ministry. That's the difference. People donated money to your ministry and you were buying drugs with it. So of course people are going to come down on you and be mad. Your hypocrisy is going to have consequences. Stop lying to yourselves. Are going to have have the desire to come forward after they see what's being done to me the church is called to gently restore a brother again quit lumping yourself together with other people you are not just a mere brother you were leading an online ministry accepting donations to support your ministry and you know good and well the entire time you were using that money to buy drugs. So yes, take responsibility. People are going to be angry. People are going to call you a liar and a hypocrite because that is what you are. Especially when you sit here and try to act like the victim. And that's how we can tell you're such a phony and a fraud. And there are people that are not out here to get my restoration. They're out here to have me be completely destroyed. Yes. Absolutely destroy, annihilate your fake, phony ministry. We're finally agreeing on something. And uh, beaten into the ground. You know, they're critical, unmerciful, calling me a wolf, calling me a hypocrite, calling me, which is true. I've, I've repented of that. So if you admit that that's true, then why are you so surprised that people are having a very negative reaction and that people are saying that you shouldn't have an online ministry. So I just wanted to share with you here today, I'm not gonna be making content uh, like I was on the regular. I'm really going to be taking time to restore myself. Mm -hmm. Got a job like that, I'm excited about it. Uh, it's gonna give me an opportunity to get away from this YouTube community that for the most part, I mean, is trying to destroy me. Look at that anger brimming under the surface of those eyes. This guy is so livid he got exposed and is trying to deflect and shift the blame wherever he can, which is just another way you know he's a fraud and his repentance videos were just a big act. I deal with addiction. I was an addict when I came to God and I still am dealing with it. This is something that... Although I've been a Christian for eight years, I haven't dealt with. I haven't seriously said, you know what? I need to, to take a concentrated effort towards focusing on these things so I can uproot them. You're such a liar. You said on so many videos that you were taking time off of YouTube to get closer to God and overcome the sin and addictions that you were dealing with. But then he'd always come back like a few days later and tell us, Oh, the Holy Spirit has blessed me and I'm in such a better place. And then you start doing the whole fake crying thing and talking about how appreciative you are of God's mercy and forgiveness and 
power to overcome sin and addiction and whatever mental health issues you were dealing with. And now you're here saying that you never dealt with it. Remember people on his other channel, how he said, oh, I'm under Pastor Todd now. And he made a video introducing Pastor Todd and even showing some of Pastor Todd's church services and everything and saying how he's under him and Pastor Todd is helping him with everything. But yet now today, he's saying that he never actually dealt with it. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I'm... I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say to that. I, this guy is such a liar. God's perfect timing. Pastor John just happens to be in my life right now. Oh, that's so great. Is he going to help you the same way Pastor Todd did? And all this happens. And Pastor John is someone who specifically restores people who struggle in addiction. So God can't help you break your addictions. Pastor John can. He has a ministry uh, that uh, he works through his church, Union City. Uh, it's called Ashes to Rubies. And that's what you're going to be seeing is Brother Mario being taken from this broken place. Again, just like I said in my previous video I made about him, he has to have an audience. He wants you to watch. It's like he's promoting a movie. Pay close attention and you'll notice that he is always trying to plug his other videos. He's always trying to get you to click on his other videos. I've seen him acting like he's on the brink of crying about something and then he takes a quick pause to talk about, well, if you haven't seen this video, uh, I've got it here and click on the link. And then he'll go back to acting like he's so sorry about something or he's repenting or having so much godly sorrow <laughs> it's once you notice it once you can identify the pattern you can spot it so easy <laughs> and it just becomes <laughs> it becomes funny it becomes comical this is actually one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life to tell you the truth so all of you that are trying to destroy me um, how are we trying to destroy you? You just admitted you've been a hypocrite and a drug addict this whole time. You collected donations and bought drugs with it. And when people found out, they were upset about it and thought you should shut your YouTube channel down. And you think that's destroying you? Hey, guess what? This whole situation is only going to result in the greatest restoration and comeback of my life. So thank you very much. No weapon formed against me will prosper and all things work out for the good. Okay, so I got myself a job and I'm really excited about that to take time away from the YouTube community and just uh, focus on healing, uh, restoring. This is what I'm saying. He always says that and then he never stays away for like more than a couple days. This video was posted three days ago, and shocker of the year, he's already posted two videos since. I'm going to be dealing with my pride. I get so easily offended. All these things that, you know, I need to mature and grow. I'm going to take some time away from YouTube, and I'm going to go and deal with it. Um, I've heard that before. My soul longs for you. I'm so alone. 